Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Ramil. Today's video is going to be something a little different. We're not reviewing wigs. We're actually going to be reviewing some clip-ins. Aeon here was kind enough to send me over some seamless clip-ins. So I'm super excited to try them today. Their packaging is pretty simple and straight to the point, which I like. I got two packs of their Yaki Straight clip-in sets. So let's unbox them and see what they look like. So my first impressions with the hair, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous. I feel like I didn't order enough packs. But we'll see, we'll see. I just know I have very thick hair and when it comes to clip-ins, uh, it can be pretty stressful. I have a total of 14 pieces all together. So one set is seven pieces, okay? So yeah, I have 14 all together. This is what the hair looks like. It is pretty thick. This is what the ends look like. So probably gonna clip the ends once I install the hair. One of the clips, which is gonna be the longest, has four clips, three clips, another set of three clips, two clips, and two sets of one clips. And I kind of have my hair prepped on how I want it to be. So I left out my edges and i left out my leave out so with this part here i'm just gonna braid it down real quick i'm not gonna do anything too crazy or am i i don't know we'll see i'm definitely gonna put some braids in maybe i'll do two going down two going back and then i'll come back okay guys so i'm done braiding my hair i ended up doing two on the sides and two in the back and connected the braids a little bit if you want, you could do, you do it like that. Just tuck them in a little bit and then your braids won't show. If your hair is a little bit longer or thicker, use bobby pins, but my hair is pretty secure, so I don't have to worry about that. I use the Marshmallow Leave-In Conditioner by Kaleidoscope, and then I use the Growth Oil, and I'm just gonna put that on my parts there we go i'm so excited i'm gonna start off with the three so i'm just gonna place this right here I did just feel one of my braids kind of go down a bit, so I'm just sticking a bobby pin in there real quick. So this is what the first one looks like. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but these are 20 inches long. Now what I'm gonna do is put in my top ones so I know how to fill in the middle, if that makes sense. So I have these two right here, and I'm just going to clip these in like so. And I love that these are actually seamless, like silicone feel. I'm gonna do the other side. I've noticed that this is what works best for me. If I just start at the bottom, for some reason, by the time I make it up to the top, I've done something wrong and I don't like that. Then I'm gonna take one of these that has the one clip and I'm gonna put that right there so we kind of have like a u part going on or a u shape this one is the four so i'm thinking about making one long track like i don't know guys i start getting really confused with these but i think if i line it up correctly yeah okay My best advice for clip-ins always is just to play with it. Just play with them and see the outcome because my layout may not work for you. You know, everyone has different shaped heads. So right here. This is one of those trust the process moments because <laughs> I know y'all are probably watching like, what is she doing? But I, like I said, I have to do the bottom, the top, and then the middle, and then I just fill in everything else. I feel like that is the easiest way, for me at least. See? Now I can just fill in the rest.
ended up installing pretty much all the pieces. I do have, let's see, three of the single clip-ins left over, and then I have with the two. For my leave out, I'm going to be using Color Wow, Blowout Lotion, and Heat Protectant. And I feel like honestly, the Heat Protectant is in like pretty much everything, but you can never get enough. I go in with a little bit of bio silk and this just helps add shine and body and just really just the icing on the cake. into styles y'all because they make me um look like i'm five so i'm not doing a style i'm wearing it down i've gotten used to like that bone straight look so this is really refreshing to be back on the yakky side i love a good yakky texture <laughs> so this is the final look i absolutely love my hair it's so natural looking it blends in phenomenally let me know in the comments what you all think as usual i'll have this exact hair link in the description box and i can't wait to see you next time bye